Hey everyone, it's Casey here, and today I'm just going to do a quick little video um, about tips for kind of like being motivated to work out or just being motivated at the gym, just to kind of like in general just to get out the door and go. Um, and no one actually requested for me to do this video, but a lot of my friends tell me all the time that they, you know, never have like the the desire to go work out, even though they're like, like, I need to work out, but I just was like too tired or um, I just didn't want to, I had other things I'd rather do. I figured, um, you know, if my friends are having that problem, other people are too, so. And these are just, like, I'm not professional, I'm not... <laughs> whatever, all of that junk, but these are just things that work for me. But, and also, I'm going to give you, like, t different options that could go either way because everyone is different. Um, so, let's just go into it and I'm going to give you guys some ideas. Um, the first thing that I'm going to say is definitely, like, I'm pretty sure most of you probably already do this, but, you know, like, bring an iPod to work out and if that's the kind of person you are, I should say. Not everyone needs, like, music to work out, but it helps me so much to have like an awesome like playlist, a workout playlist that I can, you know, use while I'm at the gym and just like to keep me pumped up and keep me going and like I'm jamming in the middle and I'm sure people are like looking at me like what the heck is she doing, but I really don't care. Like it helps me. So <laughs> and then something else too. This is different for everyone, but like for instance, I usually would rather work out alone. I know that sounds weird. Just because, like, if I'm with my friends, I'm going to be, like, talking to them the whole time and I'll be, like, distracted and stuff. Um, but at the, on that note, I also like to not work out in an empty gym. Like, I'd rather work out at school and see all these other people, you know, being motivated and, like, doing their workouts. And I see, like, how hard they're going and I'm like, oh, nice. That, like, gives me motivation. Um, but if you're the kind of person who likes to work out with other people and, like, the people you're with you know, they give you motivation, that's awesome. So go work out with a friend or go, um, like I think I talked about this in my jazzercise video, um, like taking a class like that, um, like a jazzercise class or Zumba or um, Pilates or uh, spinning or anything like that, just like being in a room, a crowded room full of people working out, like wh why would you not be motivated to work out when you're with all those other people, you know what I mean? Um, so that kind of gets you going and that's something that's... Um, nice to help motivate you, in my opinion, I guess. Something else, too, is kind of like change up your workout, I guess, your fitness routine. If you're going to the gym every day or every three days or whatever and you're just going on the treadmill for 15 minutes and then you do like some abs, first of all, number one, you're not going to see any results. Second of all, you're going to get bored. How would you get motivated if you're bored when you're at the gym? Okay, this is something that's kind of really important, in my opinion. Find the right time of day for you to work out. Um, so that's kind of like just setting setting time aside in your day to work out. And th that's like one of the things I hear the most from my friends is like, oh, I got home from work and school and I was just too tired to work out. Okay, if that's the case, get up 45 minutes earlier in the morning and work out. I know it sucks to work out in the morning a lot of the times, but it can really make a big difference in your day. Um, Something else really important, I think, is just doing a fitness routine that you enjoy um, or doing a workout that you enjoy. Like, if you absolutely hate doing the stair stepper, don't do it. Like, I'm sorry. If you're hating it. You're, you're hating it. You're probably not going to get as much out of it. Does that make sense? Why would you need to suffer through something just to, like, try and be, like, fit or be healthy when you can do things that you enjoy, like biking or doing an elliptical or doing, like weights, just anything, and still be healthy. Um, this is something kind of like just silly that I wanted to add. Um, I don't know, like get some cute workout clothes and wear them. Uh, you know, sure, I know a lot of people like to just wear like a baggy t-shirt and shorts, which is me a lot of the times. <laughs> but at, at the same time too, like I like to look cute when I'm working out, you know, and it kind of gives you like motivation to wear those clothes. Like, oh my gosh, that's right, I got that really cute new top. I'm going to go wear that to the gym and work out and show it off a little bit, you know? Something else uh, that I like to do is kind of like reward yourself with days off of the gym. So, I don't know. It depends on how often you work out. But say like I worked out three days in a row and I've been working out pretty hard and I'm a little sore. I'm going to take a break for a day. Easy as that. You know, give your body a rest. Um, and then that gives, that's going to give you motivation to work out the next day. Like, oh, I had such a good rest. Like, I'm excited to get back at it the next day. 
And just my last kind of final thing is really cheesy, and I'm going to sound like my manager when I'm saying this, but you can choose your attitude. You know what I mean? When I'm saying all this stuff because it's exactly what my manager tells me all the time. Choose your attitude. You can choose to be happy and blah, blah, blah. But, like, really, it's true. Uh, you can come home from work and say, okay, I'm tired, um, and I don't want to work out, but I'm going to because... I want to. Like, you can just change your mind, honestly. That you have the power to believe what you want to believe. You know, I don't want to, I'm not going to get too deep into this, but like, if you, how am I going to say this? I don't know. Like, if you are acting, if you act excited about going to the gym, like, of course you're going to be more motivated to go. Like, I'm so excited to like get a good workout in. It's going to feel great. I'm going to feel awesome when I'm done. Um, I can't wait to like eat a big old post-workout meal. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to love it. Like if you have that kind of mindset, it's just going to help the whole process go a little bit easier instead of just being like, oh crap, I got to work out again. Like gosh dang it, I really don't want to. Do you know what I mean? So just choosing your attitude in my opinion will help you get to the gym in general more. Um, so yeah, I guess those are all kind of the things that I could come up with just in like a couple minutes and just things that I use myself to stay motivated. Um, but like I said, you know, not one thing works for everyone. You're going to have to make a plan that works for you um, and figure it out, you know, so that you guys can be motivated and get exercise and get healthy, stay fit. Um, I don't know. I just kind of thought this video might be helpful for you guys. So let me know. Honestly, I would love to have more tips as well. So put in the comments as well if you have any awesome like tips for motivation at the gym or just uh, to work out in general. Know, you guys let me know what you think and I hope you're having a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.